I've got a very strong RAF background in my family. Three brothers, my father and his two elder brothers, flew from the beginning to the end of the war. And all three of them survived. I think it's a pretty remarkable story. My problem is I don't really know enough about exactly what happened to them because they never really talked about it. So, these three boys, they were boys, weren't they? Tony, John and Hardy, who flew in three different commands, which I think is quite unusual, isn't it? Coastal bomber and fighter. And all three got from the beginning of the war to the end of the war. And it, how unusual is that? It's certainly unusual to have three pilots, all brothers, flying in three different commands, and all three survive right through the war. That's Dad. Ah, That's the smooth my daddy. one with the, the tash. The smoothie with the tash. Really fighter pilots from Stock. Yes, he or, does look a bit, the, the yeah, past, doesn't mm, he? Here we are. Note in his logbook. I dropped back to 300 yards, and as I opened fire, the JU-88 went into a turn to starboard. I could see some of the shots striking his port engine from which there were several brilliant flashes before he dived almost vertically down, leaving a single trail of black smoke. It gives you a feel of what it must have been like if you were behind mm. and you know they can't see you. John uh, is posted to one squadron. Oh look, that's such a nice picture of John. This is yes, that's definitely him with the Queen. With the Queen. We've got a few extracts for one squadron. So um, here we are, here's the 7th of September. Oh yes, there it is. And there he is. 7th of September is the day when the Germans decide they're going to go for London. So it's a very significant day in the Battle of Britain. He shares in the destruction of a Messerschmitt 110. He goes up once around half past seven. He goes up again at 20 past nine. He goes up again at 11 o'clock. He goes up again at uh, 25 past four in the afternoon. He goes up again at uh, 10 to six. And he goes up again at half past seven. All in the same day. Harold Hardwick Clark Holderness. Harold gets decorated. He's already got the Air Force Cross, but he gets the DFC, which uh, is for combat in the face of the enemy. So, since he joined his present squadron, squadron leader Holderness has taken part in many operational sorties. Early in 1944, he made an excellent night attack on a U-boat. Later, while on patrol over the Atlantic, he attacked an enemy submarine in company with an escort vessel. He made two bombing runs, the second time straddling the U-boat. Both these attacks were pressed home in the face of intense anti-aircraft fire, and each was made with great skill and accuracy, particularly on the part of the captain. This skill squadron leader Holderness possesses in a high degree which coupled with his courage and devotion to duty make him a most valuable member of this squadron. I'm welling up again. It's awfully sweet, isn't it? I think they all did realise how lucky they were. We're very proud of them. Well, so this is the DA-82 Tiger Moth. It's identical to the one that your father learned to fly on in just seven and a half hours. Seven and a half hours he went up on his own? That's remarkable. Is that, was, was that common in World War II? Uh, well, I think they pushed them into it as quickly as possible. Yes, of course. And is this the, do you think this is exactly the same make of plane that my, all Absolutely. three brothers flew? Identical. It's very nice for me to be having this flight. It's terribly romantic. I think it is. Let's do it. Let's go. Okay, we'll come this way and show you how to get in. I'm so grateful to the RAF Benevolent Fund for letting me have this experience. And you know, when I was up there in the sky, in that beautiful tiger moth, it really makes you understand the debt we owe. I find it terribly emotionally moving to know that my dad and both his brothers flew these planes exactly like this, all that long time ago, when they were kids. Of course, I realise how amazingly lucky we are that all three boys survived. So many families were not as lucky. And we are very blessed that we have the RAF Benevolent Fund. Thanks to the RAF Benevolent Fund, people who are in trouble do have help. So we owe them a great debt too. <laughs>